Why do you think the character Zor resonates so much with audiences around the world? I think Thor, I mean, I guess uh, I only learned this recently that Thor has the most standalone movies of anyone in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which means he, he really connects with audiences. And I think I think he connects with audiences because he's the kind of guy you want to be, but he's also a kind of guy that feels relatable in, in, in some weird way. I mean, when we first met him early on, he was sort of this fish out of water, which I think we all can feel as humans. Um, and then he's just kind of like a goofy, lovable guy that I feel like you kind of want to sit down and, and hang out with. He's he's valuable, he's not perfect, but he has a has a big heart and he's always trying. And I think that's something that we that we all can sort of know and understand and love. Why do you think so many fans love Valkyrie so much? And what is the key for you to bringing her to life? Why? I don't know. That is, I do, that's cool. If fans love Valkyrie a lot, that is cool. And I don't know why. But I love it, and thank you for loving her. I think she's fantastic. Um, and, you know, I think she's, she's again, sort of like Thor. I think she's imperfect. But I think she has a really, really good heart, and she's... A, a lovable person. Um, and I think when you first meet her, especially you really want her to love herself. And I think that's sometimes something that you can feel endeared to in a person, kind of when they don't actually know how great they are. And, and when they begin to understand that and love that, they become even better people. And I think that's what you want for Valkyrie. Um, and for me, I, I just can't believe, I'm, I'm, I feel so incredibly lucky to get to make these these movies, like every day when I show up to make these movies, I, I kind of really and truly feel like I'm pinching myself. And so I think that makes me just want to be better and, and serve the character more and uh, not let the fans down and not let my co-stars down. And, and so it's just been a pleasure to get to do that. We find King Valkyrie fulfilling her role as king to the new Asgard in the new film, but it's not as exciting as her former life. Can you explain? <laughs> yeah. So we find King, you know, we find Valkyrie at the beginning of this film as, as King of New Asgard. And, and she's so proud to be that because she loves her people so intensely. But, you know, she has spent her whole life, which represents thousands and thousands of years, as a career soldier and being a part of, um, you know, a, a group and a, a cistern of fighters. And I think she's really missing that. She's missing a sense of adventure. She's missing that camaraderie. Um, and what is exciting is she kind of finds that again in the adventure of Thor, Love and Thunder, and the bad guy that they have to beat um, in, in Gore, the God Butcher. But she also finds sisterhood in in Mighty Thor. And um, and that's really satisfying. And then I think you get to see her really figure out the kind of king that she wants to be. And, and I really think that she's a, she's a great king. How did you train to prepare for the film? So I trained a lot to prepare for this film, particularly because I was coming out of... Um, you know, the, the height of the pandemic. And I think like many people across the world, we were like eating our feelings and spending a lot of time on the couch and at home. <laughs> so I had a lot of uh, a lot of training to do to get ready, but I had help. I had an incredible trainer named Reginald Brantley, or Reggie the Machine, who's trained a lot of, um, you know, bodybuilders. And so on a really just strict regimen of just working really hard with a lot of cardio and weight training and um and a lot of diet which is my least favorite thing because i like to just eat anything i ever want to eat but um i did i had to not do that for for a while but it's really cool to get really strong and and i think one of the pleasures of of doing these films is you get to be tasked to try to get in really good shape and and apart from the fact that it looks like cool to have muscles, you know, like Chris Hemsworth, you also can feel, you know, really strong and, and you wake up in less pain and you have more energy. And, and that was certainly nice, especially after um, not not feeling great for about two years on my couch. Describe working with Chris Hemsworth and what he brings to Thor. You know, working with Chris Hemsworth is like a, is like a warm fire, is like an afternoon picnic. It's like a walk in the park. It's like a cup of tea. It's like, <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I love Chris. I really like Chris. I love working with Chris. Chris and I, 
like to make fun of each other. We like to make each other laugh. Um, our families are bonded now. Our parents like each other. I, I think we'll just merge the Thompsons and the Hem, Hemsworth, the, the Hems Tomps, the Tomps, the Tompsworth, I think is what we're aiming for. I love his wife. I love his children. He has donkeys. I like them too. And, um, and I just want to, I just want to hang on his cape, you know, both literally and figuratively. Um, because look, he's so cool. What is it like working with director Taika Working with director Taika Waititi is uh, like a tight, it's like a tightrope. It's like a uh, Russian roulette. It's like a word game. It's like Scrabble. It's like organized chaos. It is like um, theater. And it is like an amusement park. It's very fun and there's lots of music and he's really inventive and lovely and a maniac. And I'm, I feel really grateful that we get to make these films with him because I think they're really weird, singular films and I'm not sure that anyone else would make a, a film, you know, like, like this, like this one that we made. So I feel really grateful. Mighty Thor, jo Money, yeah. Mighty Thor joins a group of female superheroes alongside you, Dean Joffrey, and many others. Can you talk about working with Natalie and showing her the superhero ropes? Why are these powerful women characters such an important part of the MCU? Well, working with Natalie is such a joy. We had made a film together many years ago. It was a very different film, but also a film that, um, you know, had a lot of women and, and powerful women working on an assignment together. And she and I, during that time, were talking about how rare it is that we all get to work together, that typically there might be one or two women on a movie, if you're even lucky to have two. Um, and, you know, we're friends outside of making movies together. And so I think getting to do this. And funnily, when we made that movie together many years ago, I was about to come and do Thor Ragnarok and so I was training for that and I was asking her well, what's it like working on Marvel movies like do you have any tips and she was like yeah but I don't know I was never a superhero and so then for her to come in and now be a superhero and she's like got any tips and I'm like this is so funny it's like it, it felt like we really came full circle and and also to get to like be in the gym together and and getting strong together and getting to make this film is really such a dream come true and and um it was so fun to get to watch her inhabit the 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 spirit of mighty thor